So let's move to this Giants game. Wow. All right. Let's just say it was a win. And when somebody tries to hug you and say sorry about four or five times, what do you do? You punch punch them in the in the face, right? And knock them out, right? <laughs> you know. So no matter how bad their opponent is, you gotta you gotta win. So obviously. Uh, the Giants played horribly. Not so, you know what? I take that back. The Giants didn't play horribly. Eli Manning played horribly in that game. The Giants wide receivers helped Eli look decent that game. You know. Um, well, they also sucked too. Manningham could have had uh, a couple of easy touchdowns, and uh, he he dropped one, and then he and tripped over his own foot. Yeah, but okay, he tripped over his foot and bobbled the ball and caught it. That's that's good. Look, he could have tripped and not even caught the ball. Listen, that was a fucking touchdown. Any, any it doesn't other, matter. He still he caught the ball, Baron. He still caught the ball. I don't care. Touchdown or not, not every play has to be a touchdown. You catch the ball, move the field. Move down the field. The biggest problems right now with the Giants and Eli, really, is they can't convert on third down. You know, that's the biggest problem. So... If they, if I don't care if he t- catches the ball and runs out of bounds purposely, just because they're moving down the field, I'm happy. You know, at this point, at this juncture, <laughs> at this point, you know, I'm I'm happy with them just moving the ball. I don't care if he tripped and fell. You know, yeah, um, their their run game is okay. The run not, game is okay. It's not great. No. Um, they're a little dis- They're very disappointing right now as a team. They don't seem like they have it all together. No. And they don't seem like they're they know what they're doing. No. And this is shocking for a coffling team. Yeah. Basically. That's yeah, they look unorganized. It might have to do with the short uh preseason and training camp and everything. That's probably what it really boils down to. That's probably why the Giants look so out of in disarray right now. And you know, all the pieces all the new pieces that they have and all the new roles and all the injuries on defense. And speaking of the defense, my God, the secondary looked bad. It just looked so bad, that game. It was a play where uh, one of the Rams wide receivers caught the ball and fell down and nobody even touched him. Like, are yeah. they, do they think they're still running drills at this m- moment? What's going on? What's going on, man? I mean, Ross, Ross was bad, too. Ross, Ross was, he was bad. He was bad about 60% of the time, but he had a couple of nice, really nice tackles that um, jarred the ball loose, and he fought for uh, a couple of um, loose balls in the air or whatever. He he looked bad the majority of times, but he showed flashes of what, how he used to play, and he showed some gut guts and toughness, which is still important. But overall, the secondary looked horrible. Um, matter of fact, um, going back a little bit, um, did you see that Hakeem Nicks catch? The Hakeem Nicks catch is probably going to be uh, not Hakeem Nicks. What am I talking about? Um, Hickson. My bad. Sorry, everybody. Hakeem Nicks catch was good, too. That was good, too. Yes, it was. It was good. That's probably what was on my mind. I wanted to talk about that first. So, that catch, that Hakeem Nicks catch was good, but that Hickson catch was even better. That was That's probably going to go up as one of the best plays of the year. That was an insanely great touchdown catch. But he also hurt his knee. His reconstructed knee that he just got healed up, and he hurt it on that play. Hey, man. You're right, but... As long as nothing gets torn, I'm all right. Breaking news, breaking news. Hickson, torn ACL, out for the season yet again. If he misses any amount of time, 
that spells disaster for the special teams because who you got back there? You got they had Aaron Ross at the end of the game mm-hmm. catching punts. Like, come on, I don't, I don't want Aaron Ross catching punts. All we need is for him to get hurt again. You know, mm-hmm. he just need to catch punts and fair catch it. That's it. Don't do nothing. Listen, man. Uh, you will have jernigans out there if you want to. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's all right. <laughs> Jernigan, not again, please. If there was any kind of indication of how he played in the preseason that will go into the real season, uh, we don't need that one. We do not Ross, need that one. And Ross was kind of bad that they put uh, a, a, a rookie out there, Co, to cover. To he was, cover the, you got that right. Uh, Aaron Ross, Rouse, <laughs> played so bad that they put the rookie Co. Isn't he, is he uh, the sixth round pick or an undrafted free agent? The sixth round picker. Wow. Like, that, that's just to let you know how bad Ross was playing. He was playing really stinky. He had some good plays, like I said earlier, but he was playing real bad. But overall, the secondary was just playing bad to me. Um, yes. It was too many times where players were just wide open. And the Giants had no answer for it, really. The only answer the Giants had was uh, the mishaps from the Rams by special teams, fumbles, throwing interceptions, fumbling the ball, whatever. Um, that that's, that's what the Giants' answer was, and that's not good enough for me. It's not good enough for Coughlin. It's not good enough for the Giants to win any games. Uh, this week, next week, the whole season, they got to step it up big time. Yeah. Big time. They probably played the Rams because anybody else would have kicked the Giants' asses. Anybody else would have beat the shit out the Giants. You got that right. A win is a win, but a win like that, it really you really see how the team is, man. And they, we really got to step it up. We really, really got to step it up, man. Okay. And they got to hope that Manningham um, recovers from his concussion he received that uh, Sunday game. Yeah, he'll be all right. But you know Come what? On. That's... That's not. I'm not really worried about uh, that so much because you know we got so many damn wide receivers. I really care about Hickson. If it, 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 I care about Hickson more than I care about Manningham, you know, because Hickson he's more of a he. You know, he's in special teams and he's a decent wide receiver. You know. Well, Manningham is your one-two punch. He's the only one that can really run down the field and get you some quick speed down the. Down the field, you know. That that's so, true. He is the speed burner on the team, the deep threat. You got that right. All right, so moving on. Uh, who do we play next, Baron? You play those Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> it's time Damn. to get a cheesesteak. <laughs> Man, we play against them damn Eagles. And Baron, you know how much I hate the Eagles. I think everybody that knows me. Knows how much I hate the Eagles. But with Michael Vick playing so good, and he's such a talented athlete, it's like it's like hating Jordan. How the hell are you going to hate Jordan? You know? That's, that's if Vick plays. That's if you Vick plays. Did you see that hit that he took from his own man? Did you see yeah. that hit? Oh, my God. Uh, that was that was painful just to watch. You know, you know, I, like I say, I hate the Eagles. But that was painful, man. Um, you might get Vince Young. You might get uh, Kofi or Coffee or whatever his name is. I hope I hope we get Vince Young. I hope we don't get that guy because he actually looked good. He looked good against the Falcons. He came in. He was throwing the ball like a vet. The Eagles are known to re remake quarterbacks and make quarterbacks out of uh, pieces of shit. Okay. Yeah, they make uh, they make bad quarterbacks look good. Isn't that right, Vikings? Oh yeah. And they also make Devin Browner on free agent uh, quarterbacks look good, too. Yep. Uh, look at Arizona. That's true. That's true. So, what do you think the, <laughs> what do you think the Giants got to do to win this game? Sprinkle salt uh, on their back and fucking pray to God. <laughs> <laughs> salt, sprinkle salt on their back, he says, and pray, <laughs> and pray to, God. to God. Wow. Give me another A.K.A. A.K.A. I'm gonna get you, sucker. A.K.A. I'm ready to go to Philly and get a cheesesteak. Damn. <laughs> All right. On a more serious note, uh, what I think the Giants gotta do, they have to come up 
first of all, they got to look like they have some kind of rhythm on offense. Uh, they did look decent towards the end of the game, uh, passing the ball. Eli was calming down a little bit. Um, but you gotta, they got to start off fast. They got to show some type of rhythm. They have to commit to the run. They got to commit to being a smash mouth running team against this Eagles defense. This Eagles defense did show up a little bit in the run their last game against the Falcons, but they can't do that week in and week out. They can't commit to the run like that week in and week out. They can't. They don't have the bodies. They don't have the size. And I don't even think they might not even have the mentality with all their DBs and safeties and all. They have to commit to the power run. Once you do that, might get edge out of victory. Edge out of victory. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> all right, so. And guys, guys. How you like Steve Smith playing? <laughs> oh, God. Why you had to bring that up? Steve Smith, our third wide receiver or second wide receiver, always in the slot, always getting those first downs for Eli. Uh, why you had to bring that up? Now I'm going to have mer- uh, nightmares tonight. Anyway. I going to be hurt for half the season, Giants. What's, what's going on? Yeah. Well, we had other priorities, I guess. We had to get Bradshaw back. We had to sign Kevin Boss. Uh, the other boss, not Kevin Boss, whatever his name is, David Boss. I'm sorry. I'm messing up my names today. All right, Baron, why don't you break down your bonehead player, bonehead play, whatever, of the week? I give it to Mark Sanchez because guess what? The Jaguars could not keep up with, with the Jets, but yet he was throwing interceptions blindly into people, okay? <laughs> throwing in triple coverage, right? <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, I, I, a blind man can actually see see these interceptions coming, okay? I give him seven riddle me this for the week. Seven riddle me this. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that. Um, my Geddon's stamp of approval goes to that uh, Hickson catch. If it wasn't for that catch, I don't know if the Giants would have won the game. Put it like that. That catch probably saved that game, believe it or not. Like I said, Eli looked horrible. Matter of fact, I'm going a, I'm to a give my uh, stamp of disapproval for Eli Manning's performance. I'm going to ad-lib right now. That's right. Um, Eli's performance was just horrible. It was horrible. He has to play much better than that. He's a much better player than that. Don't you agree? Yeah, he's a much better player. But you know what? He lacks the motismo at times. You got that right. He does... He does, you know, uh, his his uh, matting rating, swag rating is kind of low. <laughs> Yo, speaking of matting, that's a shitty ass game, and I just returned that shit to get to uh, to, to rent Gears of War. <laughs> oh my god! What I'm do you think of Madden 12 this year, Baron? Madden been shitty since uh, '95, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that wraps up the show. Thank you for viewing. This is the Tri-State Sports Talk Show, whatever. I me- no, I'll mess it up. I'm all messed up today. Uh, but what else is new? I'm a huge mess. Uh, you got another AKA for the people as they uh, click off the video, Baron? Yeah, AKA, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, everyone.